Staying healthy on 7 News, African-American babies die at two or three times the rate of other infants, and no one seems to know why. Neonatal specialists with the CDC have made this issue a priority. These high-risk babies are born to black women regardless of how much money they make or their education. Researchers know it's not alcohol or tobacco use. However, Colorado black women do report more stress and more infections. It's a condition that affects one in every 5,000 babies. The chances of survival, less than 50%. And now, delaying a life-saving surgery could actually increase the baby's odds of survival. Hey, wait. Robbie Dumford is on the move now, but his mom, Barbie, says this tenacious toddler almost didn't make it out of her womb alive. It was really hard time. Robbie had congenital diaphragmatic hernia, a hole in the diaphragm, causing the organs to crowd into the chest so the lungs can't develop. It was one of the worst cases doctors had seen. Robbie was given just a 20% chance of survival, and his mom had to decide whether to terminate the pregnancy. And I remember just, just praying the whole time down at the hospital, you know, please give us a sign. The sign she saw, these ultrasounds, showing Robbie appearing to be smiling and giving the thumbs up. And right then and there, I knew that we were going to fight. The fight brought the family to Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Traditionally, the diaphragm is repaired within a few days of birth. The team here waits up to six weeks to perform surgery. They also aggressively treat the baby's high pulmonary blood pressure with medication to give the lungs more time to grow. The benefit of that by waiting is that when you take them to surgery and you do this stressful thing, their lungs are bigger, their pulmonary hypertension is less. With the traditional approach, CDH survival rates are about 42% in the U.S. For babies undergoing the newer treatment, that number climbs to 75 to 90%. <laughs> As for Robbie, surgery was a success. He's a very rambunctious two-year-old that just loves to play. Playing the waiting game may have saved his life. And like most children with CDH, Robbie has had trouble with acid reflux and has a higher susceptibility to heart and lung problems as well as developmental delays.